Hello and welcome Scorpio. I am Pisces Intuition. So I am here today to do a Valentine's type reading. Um, it's going to be a two part. So this part is going to cover a separation part. So if you are currently in a separation, you want to know about the ex or want to know if there's going to be a reconciliation or just, <clears throat> you know, anything about your um, separation, then this is a reading you're going to watch. Now, if you could care less about your ex, you know, you're happy to be single, whatever, um, go ahead and click that timestamp that'll be down below and go ahead and go to the next reading because that will be all about what what's coming in for Scorpio as far as new love and everything else. All right, so Scorpio, let's go ahead and get started. So Scorpio, we're starting off the reading with a card of emptiness. Let me get two more cards for Scorpio. Okay. All right. So we had solitude come out. And then we had signs, but then when I was shuffling, um, twin flame also kind of popped out. I'm not going to take that, but it could be very significant. So just showing you. Okay. All right. So Scorpio, <clears throat> you know, a lot of you, um, you know, could possibly be kind of just doing the solo route right now. You know, this could be due to a separation or this could just be due to, you know, you've been, uh, single for a while, which is kind of what I'm picking up for some of you uh, with this emptiness You know, it's time you want to put yourself out there Scorpio. I'm getting that, you know, you're you're tired of um, Doing the solo thing you want to find that companionship you want to have that relationship you want something long term You want someone who's going to you know um, really invest time, you know in you and You know vice versa <clears throat> Hold on, I had a candle burn out. All right, sorry, how was I gonna make you guys watch me put in a new candle? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so like I said, for a lot of you, you know, I'm just getting that you are, for some of you, this is still worrying about, not worrying, but wondering about an ex, you know, because some of you are, this is a recent separation, but for some of you, I'm getting that you've just kind of been, like I said, you know, doing this little thing um, for quite some time now. And it's not like, now you're ready to put yourself out there. Now you're ready to kind of, um, you know, open yourself up to, you know, new relationships and things like that. Um, with signs, for those of you who are wondering about an ex or wondering if it is time, wondering if you're going to meet, you know, Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. Um, instead of Mr. or Mrs. right now, then, you know, um, definitely you're, you've are you been seeing some signs. You've been kind of noticing things. Um, this could be as far as numbers. This could be music. This could be um, even like deja vu is what I keep getting to for some of you. And it's just, you know, different little signs that you're going to be getting that you're going to be seeing again. And like I said, for those of you who are kind of ready to uh, really put yourself back out there, you know, really um, start, you know, start a new relationship. All right, so bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Arrows. I don't know if I'm holding that. Okay. <clears throat> so, and that would be the um, Ace of Swords in a standard tarot. All right, so we have the Princess of Coins. We have the Seven of Coins. We have the Princess of Arrows. We have the Nine of Coins. And then we have Temptation. All right. So we're going to set this guy over here for just a second until we can get on with this. Okay. So now Princess of Coins. Uh, you know, this would be like the Page of Coins, Page of Pentacles. But anyways, this is just, you know, you wanting to, again, put yourself out there, really, um, 
either make an offer or go ahead and accept offers for some of you is what I'm getting. But, you know, again, it's you putting yourself out there. I think for a lot of you guys, you know, you've, um, especially with that solitude card coming out, you know, it's like a lot of you guys have really just kind of, um, you know, been in hermit mode. You know, maybe you haven't wanted to date or maybe, you know, it's just a, you know, pretty bad breakup to where you just decided to take some time out for you, you know, really just kind of focus on you for a while. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's great. I mean, I think that's what, you know, a lot of people really need to do before they just, you know, jump back into, um, you know, a relationship. All right. But, um, <laughs> okay, Scorpio, I don't know. <laughs> Wow. So candles keep going out for your guys' video. Okay. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, the seven of coins here, you know, that's you patiently waiting. You know, that's waiting for for when you feel the time is right. You know, it's like you're not going to let anybody call the shots here. You know, you're kind of tired of that. You're going to wait until you are fully healed, until you are ready to make a move, until you are ready to put yourself out there. You know, you want something, like I said, long-term. You want something that is going to be worth it. You know, I think for a lot of you guys, you know, and I'm getting this for like a lot of signs, a lot of people are just kind of tired of just meeting people, you know, they want someone to really kind of settle down with. They want someone, you know, who's going to be here, you know, in the long run. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, that's what we have the seven of, pen or seven of coins. Now going to the princess of arrows, it's like you finally kind of had that moment of realization, like, okay, you know what? I'm ready. I want to get out there. You know, I think in the past, especially with, um, this temptation card coming out here, you know, card number 15, you know, this is also the, the devil card in the standard tarot. I'm just going to go ahead and set that up here. And so, you know, with this temptation card, I think, you know, a lot of your relationships have kind of been either toxic or uh, there could be, there could have been some codependency. There could have been, um, perhaps some obsession, you know, with you guys, um, and Scorpio, I'm just getting that, you want something different. You know, now it's, like I said, it's time for a change is what you guys want. All right. Okay, Scorpio, that was bugging me, so I had to put it on pause and go ahead and get another candle going there. Um, but I set temptation here in the back again. But like I said, you know, this is, this is a double card. So, you know, this could be, like I said, a form of toxicity within your relationship. You know, it could be, um, <clears throat> you know, just like I said, a little bit of obsession maybe, you know, just kind of to where it really feels like a lot of you needed to really separate yourselves from that, really needed to take a break, get away from that type of energy and, you know, really go over to the nine of coins, you know, do that solo thing, you know, feeling strong, feeling independent, just knowing that, you know, you can rely on yourself, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, people aren't always going to be there for you. You're not always going to be able to rely on, you know, people as much as we want to, as much as we want to have faith and, you know, friends, family, um, you know, lovers, you know, people have their own lives. And sometimes we don't always get the same treatment that we put into relationships. And so again, you know, in the end Scorpio, you know, we just, you have to kind of, you know, learn to rely on yourself. Um, again, you know, for that independence, for that, for that solid foundation, you know, <clears throat> um, but yeah, so I just wanted to say for some of you too, you know, you've, you've kind of enjoyed being single because it gave you a chance to kind of open up, you know, other opportunities, you know, to kind of have choices. But then for some of you, it's like, no, you know, I've, I've been single, but I haven't dated. I haven't done anything. You know, I just, yeah, I took the solo road and wasn't looking back, wasn't looking for anybody. And so again, now that's why I'm kind of picking up that, you know, now you feel like it's time. Now it's time for you to go ahead and come out of that shell. And again, you could be seeing a lot of signs too. Um, you know, like I said, that could be, you know, so many different signs and that could be signs about, you know, past, um, you know, maybe an ex, you know, someone you're still interested in, or it could just be, you know, again, another sign just saying, it's time to put yourself out there, you know, see what else is out there, see what, um, you know, see what's going to go on for Scorpio and love, because like I said, a lot of people, you know, do want that, they just, they're looking for commitment, they're looking for something solid, you know, something they can build on, 
All right, so then we have the card of sleep on it. Think before you speak, get rest, don't sabotage, call it a day, need a break, and sleep deprived. <laughs> That's my card. Uh, <laughs> but, okay, so Scorpio, a sleep on it. <clears throat> Think before you speak. Like I said, I was getting, you know, like some kind of like um, possibly obsession or, you know, just really really kind of being bound to certain relationships, almost like a form of toxicity there. So again, you know, make sure, like I said, and I think a lot of you really needed to pull yourselves away from that type of energy, from that type of relationship, from that type of situation. So, you know, this is just saying, Scorpio, now it's time to go ahead, you know, just sleep on it, you know, make sure you are not going back to old habits. Um, <clears throat> And I'm not saying you were the one obsessing or you were the toxic one in the relationship. I'm just saying that, you know, sometimes <clears throat> we fall into habits. We fall into, you know, things that are kind of hard to break. You know, we see someone who, you know, we we want to help them. You know, we think, for lack of a better term, you know, try to fix someone. And we all know you can't fix anybody. You know, if you need to fix somebody, you know, you have to fix yourself first. But, um... But as far as the sleep on it, you know, like I said, a lot of you, it's just saying that, you know, you've been in a solitude, you know, you've got your rest, you've got that time. But definitely when you, you know, come out of this rest mode, when you come out of this hermit mode, the solitude mode, <clears throat> you know, don't fall back into um, bad habits. You know, don't go sabotaging yourself. Yeah, and then we have rocking it. Being yourself, confident, loud, and proud, hitting the right note, harmonious, concert and showing off exactly so Scorpio you know like I said you're coming out of that that solitude that hermit mode and you are ready to rock it you're ready to get out there you're ready to show everybody what you're made of <clears throat> let them know what you want and let them know you're not settling all right yeah because in the um, past for some of you you know we have abandonment this is fear Abandonment issues are affecting relationships. You know, ghosting, forgive, especially yourself. And this is a big one, Scorpio, because this is what I'm, you know, really kind of picking up on too for a lot of you is, you know, especially with that level of kind of toxicity within a relationship that I said. <clears throat> you know, you could have been abandoned. Um, you know, this could have been ghosted, you know, whatever. And that's kind of what makes you decide to just go into full hermit mode and just take some time out. Um... But yeah, you know, it's definitely, like I said, you really need to just kind of make sure that, you know, you're in a good place, that you are truly and fully ready, Scorpio, to get yourself back out there. You know, nobody else can call that shot. Nobody can tell you when the time is right. You know, that's for you to decide and no one else. All right, one more for Scorpio, please. All right, so then we have life goals. Be sure your life goals and lifestyle are congruent with your partners. Grow together or grow apart. So that could have been what, you know, broke up the relationship too. <clears throat> you know, because then at the bottom of the deck we have taking a break. Not necessarily a breakup, but time apart. Allow for new perspectives, you know, center and meditate. You know, meditation is so important for, you know, a lot of you. I mean, I, you know, I have to do that, you know, all the <laughs> I have to do that like all the time, you know, just to kind of get um, in the right headspace, you know, especially, you know, doing tarot for, you know, everybody. It's, you know, it kind of takes a toll on you. So you definitely have to, you know, meditate. You have to get rid of, you know, certain energies and things like that. And, you know, that's just good for anybody to do in general. But, um, you know, life goals, you know, this is, I'm getting that's more future, um, not so much, you know, past. Although, you know, that could be. Like I said, you know, maybe that was another issue within, you know, your past relationships is you guys weren't seeing eye to eye. You didn't have the same life goals. You know, you both wanted different things and therefore, you know, you're both traveling down completely different paths. Again, not seeing eye to eye, you know, not really communicating what it is each other wants or how you can make it work or trying to find a middle ground. So, you know, for like I said, a lot of you, um, this is just something for kind of future reference. <clears throat> you know, just let people know up front what it is you're looking for, what it is you want out of life. And, you know, Scorpio, I'm not seeing any of you, you know, taking no for an answer. I'm not seeing that you're going to settle. You know, like I said, you've had this time out for yourself. You've really kind of grown. You've tried to, um, you know, just kind of heal yourself again and just, 
you know, now it's time. Like I said, you're feeling like you want to put yourself back out there and you know what it is you want. You know what it is you're looking for. And you're going to be pretty upfront with, you know, everybody, you know, about your life goals. So, all right. Well, Scorpio, that is what I have for you as far as the separation or, you know, just a single life. So if you are interested in finding out what is going to be coming in as far as new love and things like that, go ahead and click that timestamp below. All right, Scorpio. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see what is coming in for love. So this could be for um, perhaps you just got into a new relationship or, <clears throat> you know, you... Um, are just you're still single you're looking to see what what is coming in for you so let's go ahead and see what is coming in for Scorpio and love okay ooh nice all right and Scorpio I don't know what it is with you guys and my candles <laughs> I have not had any other issues with any other sign except for you guys my <clears throat> I changed the red candle on the left and yeah, it's not wanting to stay lit. Okay. You know, maybe that's, <clears throat> um, you know, you were just feeling like a lot of your relationships were just kind of one sided. All right, yeah. And as I say that, we have Four of Cups. Okay. Then we have the Four of Wands. We have the Four of Swords. Hmm, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let me adjust this for you guys. So you can see the cards here. All right, all right. So, um, you know, starting with the full, a lot of you want that new beginning. You know, you want that fresh start. You want that, um, you want that excitement is what I keep getting. You know, like I said, that fresh start, that exciting feeling of not knowing where this road is going to take you. But, you know, let's see. <laughs> With the magician, you know, that's you taking action. That is you saying, I'm done I'm sitting in solitude. I am done, you know, just kind of, I don't want to say throwing a pity party. But for some of you, it's like, you know, you have cried too many tears and you've wasted so much time. And that's just, that's what I keep getting for you, Scorpio. So, you know, if that's how you're feeling, you know, by all means, yeah, definitely put yourself out there because nobody should sit at home waiting around for someone who's, you know, going to be so one-sided, you know, because then after the magician, we have the four of cups, which is, you know, that unrequited love, or, you know, this could have been you putting in so much to a relationship and not feeling like you're getting anything back and you're definitely not getting back what you put in. So as far as new love, you know, like you, you were offering this person happiness. You wanted, you know, to make a home with this person. You wanted, um, you know, something long-term, something stable. And it's like this person just was not really, not really putting it out there for you, Scorpio. They just weren't, you know, they were like really kind of withdrawn, really kind of holding back their feelings. Um, but then we have the four of swords, which, you know, that's taking that break. That's, um, you know, again, kind of going into the solitude mode. If, you know, if you guys stayed or actually watched the uh, first reading that I did, the first part of this reading, I should say, then, you know, you already know, you know, you, you take a break, you did that, um, that hermit mode thing for a while. And then also coming out, we had the eight of swords and the 10 of swords. So, you know, that shows me, yeah, a painful ending, you know, really being in your head over this person, you know, this person really kind of did a number on you really just kind of making you think, you know, um, question a lot of things, you know, not giving you answers, not giving you clarity, not knowing where you stand. So, yeah. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Where are we going from here? Because Scorpio is ready for some happiness. They're ready for some long term. You know, they like I said, and I kept getting that for the first part of this reading too. Now you guys want something long term. You want something steady, something solid. You know, you don't want just a Mr. or Mrs. right now. You know, you want them forever. All right. Let's see what we got for Scorpio. Okay. So yeah. 
so this is a hangman taking some time out, figuring out what it is that you want, you know, where you want to go from here. Uh, definitely, you know, just kind of getting a different perspective on things. Um, again, really kind of looking at a bigger picture instead of just what's, you know, before you. And then we have the Three of Wands. You know, this is waiting, waiting for those ships to come in, waiting for, you know, what's next? What is the next chapter, you know, in life for Scorpio here? And what comes next for Scorpio is happiness. You know, the Sun card, that's, you know, one of the happiest cards in the deck. I mean, it doesn't, you know, get much better than that. So we have that. <laughs> okay. Um, so let me go ahead and talk about that before I show you guys this card. So, you know, we go from waiting for happiness, waiting for, you know, something to come in because here, you know, we're taking this break. We're, you know, doing just kind of focusing on our own healing, focusing on ourselves, um, you know, really just cutting out relationships is what I keep getting for a lot of you because I think a lot of you just wanted to focus on you for a while. And, you know, that is, that's awesome because then when, you know, the healing starts with you, then you get into a healthier place to put yourself out there and you know what you want then and you know you're not going to settle for anything less than what it is that you want and deserve so you know now we're focused on waiting for our happiness you know what's going to make scorpio happy you know they know what they want like i said you guys have figured it out and then what comes in but the ace of cups a brand new beginning in love new opportunity you know doors opening you know emotions feelings um, you know, just feeling happy, you know, feeling like, you know, you've met this person, like I said, this new chance at love. All right. So Scorpio, yeah, you know, after that much needed break, um, you know, like I said, just trying to, you know, take that break because you needed to see that bigger picture. You know, we, you've done your waiting, you've done your healing, you've done your time off, you've done your work on yourself. You know, so definitely get yourself out there. Focus on that happiness because we do have that Ace of Cups. So this could be, you know, a new love offer coming in. Um, yeah, I'm not saying X and I'm not getting, you know, like X energy either. Um, so this, you know, could definitely be just, you know, a new love, a new offer. And it doesn't feel like it's unexpected. But at the same time, okay, <laughs> and I got this for, um, oh gosh, I think it was Cancer that got this one too. Um, but you get Coffee Cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So yeah, so Scorpio, you know, it could all start, you can be at the coffee shop, you know, then all of a sudden, you know, you run into someone who really kind of piques your interest, you know, and it takes off from there. You know, and that's going to be your story to tell your kids, your grandkids, well, we met at a coffee shop <laughs> or, you know, we met over a cup of coffee. But this is definitely someone, like I said, making that offer, wanting to just get to know you. Um, but yeah, but like I said, brand new beginning, something that you guys want. You know, I think you're trying to break away from, you know, from old habits from, oh, wow. Okay. So I'm shuffling. Um. But yeah, like I said, for a lot of you, it's trying to break away from old habits and, you know, you want something new. Like I said, with the full car that came out in the first one, you know, you want that exciting brand new feeling. You want that rejuvenation. You know, you want to feel that spark. And then after coffee cup, what does it lead to? But engagement ring. So we have engagement, partnership, um, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So, you know, and that's exactly what Scorpio is looking for, something long-term, something solid, something steady, you know, a foundation that you can build on that's not going to crumble down. Like I said, you know, something like long-term. That is what Scorpio wants. That is, you know, Scorpio is not going to sell for anything less. So, all right. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take um, one of the little, I think this is Lover's Oracle. Yeah. All right. So beautiful, Scorpio. You get that brand new beginning in love. And, you know, and <laughs> I should say one thing. Um, the coffee cup coming out, that's not going to lead directly to, you know, it's not like, like you're going to go have a cup of coffee, then you're going to be engaged the same day or the next day. You know, definitely things take time. But it does look like the person that is coming in is going to be something that could be long-term, you know, especially with, um, you know, just kind of 
feeling complete. You know, we have eternity, like I said, partnership, union. All right. So, Scorpio, you got this card. And it is, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Then we have this card. And this is look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So, you know, again, if you guys um, watch the first part of this reading, it was definitely kind of going back to um, having abandonment issues, um, really kind of needing to sleep on it, not getting, not falling back into old habits, you know, things like that. Because like I said, for a lot of you, it's like you've been single for a while, you know, you've done your healing, you've done, you know, just being solo. And so now it's time to go ahead and, you know, put yourself back out there. But it's, you know, again, kind of reiterating, you know, look inside yourself for, you know, self-love, for healing, for, um, you know, for uh, independence, you know, and for strength. You know, that's where it all starts is inside yourself. All right. So then you got this last card that comes out here. And if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is a gateway to the soul. All right. Beautiful. You know, and Scorpio, I do believe that that's why you took, you know, that time out was to kind of figure out, you know, what is it that you want? You know, what, if you could do anything, what would it be? You know, you took that time out to kind of, like I said, rediscover yourself, rediscover your wants, your dreams, you know, your hopes, and, you know, just like kind of focus, like I said, on that healing aspect of things for you. Um, but definitely, like I said, you know, look inside yourself because that's where everything starts. You know, if you can't love yourself, how are you going to love anybody else? You know, I love that saying from uh, RuPaul. But, um, but yeah, so definitely, like I said, but we have some new love coming in. You know, it's going to just be patient. Like I said, you've already been kind of looking. You know you want to put yourself out there. You know, you see the bigger picture with things now. Um, like I said, you've done, you know, the work on yourself. It's time to get out there and get that Ace of Cups. You know, and like I said, the new person coming in definitely, you know, has long-term, um, you know, has a is going to meet you, you know, see eye to eye with you as far as wanting the same things, you know, long-term committed relationship. So, you know, definitely beautiful Scorpio. Um, I do, you know, I do hope, um, I lost my train of thought here because there was something else I wanted to point out. Um, hmm. okay. Well, I do hope you enjoy the reading. That is all I have for you guys today. And, you know, again, always focus with inside yourself first, but new love is coming in. You already know what you want. You know where it is, what it is you want to do. So good luck to you, Scorpio. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day. And if you are still doing the solo thing on Valentine's Day, you know, don't worry about it. Just do something that's fun. Again, look inside yourself, um, you know, and if you could do anything, what would it be? So do something for yourself. Do something, you know, that's going to give you some fun on Valentine's Day if you're still, you know, doing that solo thing. Um, but for those of you, like I said, who's patiently kind of just waiting for that new love to arrive, you know, it's going to be here soon and it's going to be beautiful. So, all right, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so very much for watching the readings and I will talk to you again soon.